Good morning to each and every one of you and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. It's a lovely day here in the island as you can see. A little bit of traffic noise and stuff but I didn't want to miss this view that's for sure. As the sun is rising I'd like to see our serenity prayer. If you'd like to join me now please do so. If not we'll be back through in a few moments. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will not ours be done. Amen. Good morning. I'll be back with you all in a couple of minutes. Enjoy this, guys. Good morning to each and every one of you. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Barbados. As you can see, no matter where you look this morning, or here where we are, beauty, beauty beyond belief. Absolutely stunning views. I remember when I um, used to surf years ago when he first started. We used to come down to Duffy's and make hots down here. Um, we used to pass here and I had a little shop, or a big shop, two-story shop that was out abandoned mainly at that time. And there was out a little bit of a point here. No beach whatsoever. The water used to come right up. Um, as you would have noticed, they have a lift bridge here uh, for Port Ferdinand. However, water used to come right up to the road, which used to run just behind these buildings here. Um, that's a long time ago. But all this section has been reclaimed or claimed from the sea. Turned it into a beautiful, beautiful facility. This is uh, from the time Port Ferdinand was actually built. All of these um, areas were set up. All these rocks were dropped to try and trap sand and also to protect the sand from going in to the back into the marina area they do have to do quite a bit of dredging out here quite often i've seen the dredge here a few times haven't seen it um recently but i know for sure they were dredging before um you would have seen maybe when we came down the steps uh, there's a lot of sand and stuff that started to build up on just on the inside here of where the actual boats go in and out of the marina itself i get you up there and show you what it's looking like as you can see the beach is building all over not just uh, on this side here, but it's actually built on the inside as well. So I would imagine I'll have to do a little bit of dredging sometime in the future. Um, as you remember, if you have been with us in the beginning or for a little while now, we actually swam across here one day with the gimbal. That was quite fun. Uh, yes, I know. Tun, 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 tun. No, we didn't see any of those dorsal fins whatsoever. 
everything was good everything was safe on the outside there um, that is the section where you can clear immigration and customs that is um, Port St. Charles they have all the facilities there as an entry of port so if you're staying in this area itself staying in any of the two marinas here you can actually clear immigration and customs here without actually having to go into the Bridgetown area absolutely beautiful what I'm going to do is walk a little further out on this wall for you uh, yeah I'm actually going across here as I'm on the balance beam I trained for that as well too but I haven't done it for a little while so I'm a little bit on the jerry side thank goodness the gimbal is not showing you that but just to let you see what we're seeing down here, what we're experiencing. Enjoy our first 360 of nothing but beauty and natural sounds. Here we go. If you ever um, wondered why we have it called the Sea of Reflections and of Glows, absolutely breathtaking scenery out here this morning, for sure. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, if I'm talking a little bit on the slow side today, I went partying yesterday. I went to CUNY Community first, left there just about 7.30. Went, went up and spent a little time with Miss St. Pat. Got home and got in bed around 10 o'clock, and this morning I'm exhausted. <laughs> As you can see, I, I'm not a party person as I used to be at one time, that's for sure. So my mornings start early and my night's going to have to be real early as well. Because this morning I got up feeling really offset then. But that's not a problem. We're going to start the day up, you know, one cup of coffee, a little bit of this beauty, and my friends with me, and everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. Just beautiful, beautiful conditions. All right, we're going to walk a little bit. Um, we'll not do too long a vlog this morning as in the distance, but we will certainly be doing a nice little vlog. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Um, we we'll see how that goes. Looking for my best exit going back down. I think I've walked by it, but we'll look for another section here. I am not any hop skipping and jumping mood this morning, that's for sure. I don't mind working my way across this balance beam, but yeah, I'm not going to do any backflips today. So if you were looking forward to that, not this morning. All right, going to work our way through here. Just give me a second to do some downward climbing. Beautiful, beautiful little man-made beach. It is absolutely lovely here. Um, the sand, as you can possibly see, I'll show you a little bit better. Look at it. Very granular, very shelly. Yep, so it's a beautiful, beautiful beach. Closest to the water's edge, a lot smoother, a lot, uh, a lot nicer grains and stuff, but up here, def definitely a little bit coarse. If you want to come here um, to this beach, you can park. There's a little lay by just where the Kibar used to be. Um, a couple of areas down in Six Men's Bay as well, and you can walk here, it's not too far away. But actual parking in this immediate area, a little bit difficult sometimes, because only about three vehicles can park down there in the bay. And then beyond that, you have to park in either Six Men's Bay, Fish Town, or you can park on the southern side of where we are right now. Also some room out there as well by Port St. Charles, close to Port St. Charles. Just beautiful. So as you would have seen, we didn't actually see the full sunrise, but darker makers, that's what you're seeing. Beautiful this morning. How are you going, Governor? Yeah, yeah. You good, man? Enjoying fresh air and breeze? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, enjoy. Cool. A lot of people this morning making me feel extremely unfit again. I don't mind. I, I'm feeling pretty comfortable this morning. i walking about here uh, in my full work attire this morning. Um, yeah, baggies and beach shoes. Ah, sorry, forgot the cap. <laughs> I'm not sure what you will be working in today, but this is my work attire for sure. It's just lovely along here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little bridge section. All right, this is another public thoroughfare to the beach. Once again, it's warning you there's no lifeguard on duty. That may seem so strange when you look up there and see lake effect. It's not always that way though. Sometimes you can get some strong currents here and also some very big swells as well. 
Ah, oh boy, here we go. All right, we have some grape trees on our right, along with a match nail tree as well. Remember when you're on the west coast, if it starts to rain, please don't go on the trees to shelter, or if you do, just make sure it's not one of the match nail trees because you don't want to get blistered. Just beautiful up here, really beautiful. pretty quiet down here at most times the day it won't be this quiet because there's a lot of traffic noise we're right on a very busy roadside um, it goes into the actual fish, fishing village itself six men's it's beautiful out here absolutely beautiful breathtaking sceneries I'm gonna stop as we get a little further on doing another 360 from this angle for you so you can appreciate how beautiful it is here just stunning conditions and you see it's so gentle this morning it's barely barely lapping on the shore I let you listen to a couple of seconds to this beautiful beautiful sound Just lovely, isn't that? Just gorgeous. Sounds out here, man. Lovely. Come in and relax in. All right, along this whole section here, there's a shallow um, ledge, reef ledge, as you can see just in front of us. I'll show you where we are right now. I'll show you what the water looks like this morning. Transparent and beautiful. Absolutely stunning. But you can see the ledge here. This runs the entire length of this bay here right across. Um, a little closer in here than other sections. It's just a step up though, and then you can can make our way over into the, the nice waters beyond here. This is where a lot, a lot of folks swim. Usually there are dozens of folks are swimming in this area on the morning. Um, maybe we're a little bit early. Or maybe the water is a little bit cold. That's a possibility. Not too cold for me though. I, I'm pretty good this morning and comfortable. It's lovely down here. All right, so our first water skim 360 for you. Here we go, guys. breathtaking absolutely perfect conditions i see a lot of our west coast coasters on board this morning i notice that whenever we do west coast certain people always turn up early <laughs> so i'm not calling names because they know who i'm talking about because I, I i spoke to them yesterday about being west coasters already so but it's good to see you anyhow whether you're on the south or the west or whenever whatever time you come on it's great to see you just like everyone else it's a beautiful day here as i said before i'm definitely definitely in need of some caffeine so if you have a coffee shop and you're up, text me your location, please. I will be stopping. <laughs> we kidding about that there because I got some running about to do. I'm going over to East Coast after I leave here. Just take a little spin over by through Bashaba and stuff because I'm going up to the south of the island. Um, now you like to take that route, just a scenic route. Sorry, don't mean to be teasing you all with where you all know it's beautiful already, but that's where I'll be going today for sure. I don't just drive around the same road up and down because I enjoy the beauty of the island. I think that if I leave home, I'm coming out to enjoy this here, and therefore I'm going to enjoy it all. And I'm not going to take the same route twice. I definitely take different routes going back up the road. It's a beautiful morning. The scenery here, nothing short of breathtaking. I know, I know there are other places in the world that may have beautiful scenery and stuff, but this, this is as gorgeous as it gets. I mean, look at the calming of this water. Bare little freckles on the top from the winds that's blowing, coming over to the east right now. It's getting a little stronger. Predictions are there's going to be a swell. Um, over the next day or two uh, coming in. It's got a wind swell probably on the south side um, As you would have noticed if you've been watching any of the webcams or anything like that. Uh, we are having a, a Float of sargasm on the south. I would say it's like from midway down But when I was um, by Hastings rocks last night, I was seeing a lot of the actual moss or sorry seaweed Drifting through that area, but look at how look at the clarity of this water. Is this not just beautiful? Just stunning now off of here, all of the gables that you're seeing, um, I have been told, because I haven't snorkeled them yet, 
But I've been told that all of these gable areas, all these areas out here, um, let's be on the outside, are just full of fish. So if you want to do some snorkeling here, and just in front of the what was um, a beach resort, which was Haywoods, um, which is proposed sandals, you will find a lot of those as well that have been laid out there. Um, they're just big groins, catch but groins have been laid out in the water and a lot of a lot of fish life are on them now. It's just beautiful actually. I've done some some up in the Haywood section, I've done some in whole town, but I've never done any actually down here. So I'm gonna need to do that next time Angel is in town because she's a snorkel person. I myself I like my scuba diving, haven't done it for a long time, but that's where my preferences would be. It's just a beautiful morning. I'm gonna take you on a little stroll here. We're gonna walk under the jetty there as it's low tide, take advantage of it so you like to do it low tide. Um, what I'm gonna do right now is just that you hear the sounds of people enjoying themselves, um, being here this morning and appreciating life and also the natural sounds that we're gonna be encountering. So here we go. Next time there's a big north swell, I'm going to definitely bring you here to show you the difference because you are seeing here it looks like a lake, but when there's a big north swell, although um, we get a lot of protection from the outer groins here, we still get a big surf that comes in just off of the section. So I want to share that with you as well. Haven't done it since on video yet, haven't captured it. War Wagon Park is over there. This is the other parking spot I was mentioning to you. If you want to park, it's just to the north of the Port St. Charles couple of parking areas there just be careful because there's a section directly in front of us that is for taking in or putting water, um, boats into the water and taking them out so please do not block there there are signs that are indicating do not park there but just in case you miss them because I know signs when you're on vacation you have a different vision morning gentlemen how are y'all going would y'all like to sell out to all my friends all over the world good morning to you all man great to see you all again yeah good to see you man okay thanks very much bye yeah yeah hold a sec hold a sec big pause yeah awesome nice guys nice you all guys are on facebook yeah, yeah. all right i got i got something here i want to give you all okay so folks i'm gonna leave you all for a second watching the ocean while i give these gentlemen some of our cards because as you all can see they're atlas posers and we're gonna catch them again so here we go just bear with me a few seconds So we're going to have some new family members that are going to be joining us. That is wonderful news. Spread the word if you love, peace and joy. Yeah, Come and follow us. Huh? Uh -huh, Take yeah. care, guys. Another beautiful morning. I can't miss opportunities such as this. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, hi. Yeah, I can't miss these opportunities when I'm walking in areas like this here to, to you know, get friendly with our own Bajan people. Because the more Bajans we have on here, the more Barbados you will feel. Absolutely beautiful. All right, I've had... Um, a dinner here already thanks to nancy nancy and her families uh thanks again for that beautiful dinner that we had here great great facility just to sit and relax and enjoy and as you can see gorgeous beach here as well so here we go i'm going to give you a 360 from this point I didn't say it was going to be silent. I just said I was going to give you a 360. So <laughs> my mouth decided it wants to put itself in gear. I'm finding some kind of energy. Not sure where this one is coming from, but good morning. I noticed our surfologist may be on board. Well, you know, stay away from your north surf. You're coming to think about surfing. 
try and find somewhere else because there's nothing on the site today. You can do imagination surfing, that's not a problem. When you have to create the wave yourself too. So, so there we go. Beautiful. We've also swam across here as well. Brave and challenge it was. Uh, yeah, it was it was quite quite exciting. I will do that again with you in the future, but today we're gonna end our vlog here. We're just gonna take a little swim in this ocean. It's just beautiful. Setup is lovely here. Again, it's it's spectacular to watch the uh, luxury yachts come in and out of this uh, marina. It's really lovely. I do love this one here, especially because of the views you can get. Beyond that uh, actual um, entrance to the, or the mouth to the marina itself, some of the best beaches on the west coast. Haywards Beach, um, spectacular, absolutely beautiful. Now here it drops off rather quickly, they have it buoyed off um, because of how all here dredged out obviously for the boats and stuff and they have to move sand from here to keep in there clear of sand. It's just a beautiful, beautiful morning. Hope you have enjoyed yourselves with me. It's not me a long one. We decided to you know, keep them a little shorter unless um, we are in an area that warrants a lot of walking and then we most definitely do that. But we just really want to come together in the morning to say thanks for me to God for my life and for the life of my friends, um, for helping each and, us, uh, each and every one of us through the struggles and encounters that we face on a daily basis. Um, thank you for giving us the opportunity to have a gathering and a place that we can come to start our day that's filled with peace and love and kindness and happiness and hope and friendship and everything that's positive is what we find in the rooms in the morning. As I said to many, many people, and I'll keep saying it, the EMC started out originally as a scenic view of the island and it, it completely changed and turned into a place where we all come and just share our peace and our light with everyone around us so that we can go into the day free of anything except for positives. Don't mind negatives gonna come your way. If you have the foundation, you can make sure and build on that foundation. So if you found peace this morning, you found love here, please spread that with everyone else. If you have not found it, come back and join us again because we will make sure that you will feel it. If this is your first time on and you're unable to comment this morning, please remember to send your friend requests um, to me and I will then bring you into our gathering where you'll be able to comment and everything else. The only way you can comment on here is if you are a friend of mine or if you're a friend of one of my friends who are on here. Um, that's the only time you'll be able to comment. So don't miss your opportunity to be able to comment if your friend is not online. Send a friend request, we'll send you some information. On behalf of our crew, which consists of our care team and our munch kings and each and every EMC family member, we thank you for joining us this morning. We hope you have a fantastic Friday. Look forward to spending tomorrow with you. Not sure what tomorrow will bring. Um, that will be left until then. And obviously that's if God spares life. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. Greetings from Barbados. Um, on behalf of the EMC gatherings, uh, we hope you've enjoyed the beauty of Barbados through my eyes. Have a great day. Love you all.